So I'm on site at the beautiful Warburton Golf Club. And on behind me, we've got the construction site for the first part, the first little bit of the Warburton Hydro project. It's been eight years in the making, but uh, construction started on the 8th of January 2018. And it's absolute delight to be able to share some of the stories and progress that we've been able to make and some of the footage that we've been able to capture of this amazing event. Let's have a look at what these guys have been doing and able to achieve in a very short space of time. Let's hear now from our project manager, Josh Tomlin of River Power Tasmania. Generally speaking, uh, we've started from the bottom up with this project. Uh, so we've started at the, at the river level and then built our little outflow channel up and that di has dictated our powerhouse level. Then we've gone upstream with the, the penstock and eventually we'll be building the, uh, the intake. So where we're at now is that our pipeline, our other word, it's otherwise called a penstock, is, is almost laid almost in the ground, we've got about 200 metres to go uh, and that's been happening for the last uh, two weeks. So the first four weeks were, were establishing this site that we're in now, the, the powerhouse site, excavating uh, everything here, getting the dirt uh, off the site, getting all the um, formwork and steel work in and, and getting the concrete poured. And it took three, three pours to do, it's quite a complex um, little structure, although it looks quite straightforward now. A, a big concrete box but there's quite a lot going on um, beneath your feet in that box with um, uh, with with power conduits and um, and and play a big place big tunnel for the water to discharge and return to the creek and sound attenuating baffles and all that so so how long do you anticipate construction being uh, we should be out of here by mid-april from a, a civil point of view so we started here early january uh, so about you know, about three months, uh, and and that's uh, it's definitely what we planned for to try and have all this construction work done in the in the dry season, um, just just to limit the uh, limit the mess and and limit the expense in 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 the operation. Yeah. Can you describe the um, the building site for me? The building site's just behind us, and uh, I would describe it as beautiful. Uh, cramped and and quite complex. The unusualness here I guess of this site is that um, we're right down low uh, to a river which is not unusual for many hydros but obviously it is quite unusual for for any other sort of building. Uh, it's also unusual in that it's underground. This building's underground for a number of reasons um, you know visual amenity and, and sound attenuation and so we, you know, uh, we've dug this building deep down in amongst uh, uh, a couple of hills here, uh, and we're we're compressed in here between the working some working golf course greens. There's a residence behind us. There's valuable trees. Sure. So this site, I mean, obviously the the powerhouse site is quite complex, and just the other complexity with this I mean, this site overall is that it's um it's over one kilometre uh, in length, and there's multiple access points. Um, there's a, almost a one kilometre pipeline. There's a number of mini projects within the project. We've got a, a creek crossing, an infrastructure crossing, um, you know, crossing over multiple fairways and working golf holes. We've got an intake, we've got communications. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot going on here. So the last two, two weeks um, have been all about uh, getting that pipeline uh, welded together and in the ground. Obviously it doesn't come on the truck in one 880 meter length. Uh, it comes in 12 meter length. So there's a special uh, team that that come with a special machine, which which join each one of those lengths together to the next. Uh, and also there's another team that have their ex excavation equipment, which digs a trench and and lowers that pipe into the ground, and, and then backfills it and smooths off the terrain um, to the to the smoothness, if that's the right word, of of how it was previously. Because this is a golf course, we can't just <coughs> dump dump uh, ground on top of it and, and get out of here. Uh, it's taken a bit of work to get it back to the way it was. And that's all gone quite well and I think that that just um, is a product of having a, a good team w with the right equipment and a, and a good plan and, and not, um, not let one operation get too far ahead or behind of, of the other ones. So we've tried to do a, one big fluid uh, rollout if you like. So as we're working our way up the golf course with the excavation uh, the pipeline welding team are working their way up with welding um, and, and the other teams coming behind 
uh, working their way up, dropping in, in and covering behind. So we haven't had um, any more than, let's say, 200 metres of disturbed ground at any one time. And I think that's just really helped with a rollout. It, it, it's, and we've just um, uh, uh, you know, tried to get everything tidied up and cleaned up for, for the weekend generally, so the golf course um, isn't, uh, isn't impacted at all with their, with their weekend busy period. Uh, and I guess that, that's, that's assisted us, I guess, in, in having a goal at, of a Friday to have everything um, finished to a certain point. So yeah, it's all gone remarkably well. And uh, a lot of the credit goes to the weather and that this weather's big, long, dry, warm spell uh, makes all the difference in being able to dig dirt and handle dirt and, and move dirt. You know, if this was wet, it'd be a, a very different story.